Sid? What are, are you, you doing, doing here? here? I live here. No way. I might too. My parents are applying for an apartment right now. I looked at it with them before going to the park. Apartment 3A? That's right over me in 2A. We could be neighbors. You're blowing my mind right now. You have to give that family the apartment. I hung out with Sid at the park, and she's awesome. Mia, I don't own the building. I just manage it. That decision's up to Mr. Scully, and he's going to have a lot of applicants to choose from. We just have to make sure that no other potential tenants see the apartment. How does Abuela usually advertise it? Online posts, email blast. <laughs> <laughs> no way. Abuela's old school. Yeah, she photocopies the same flyer she's used for 10 years and puts it up all over the neighborhood. Okay, so we'll have to take those flyers down and deal with the people who've already seen them. Plus, someone has to keep Abuela distracted. Now, who's with me? I am. Oh, well, I'll call Mr. Scully to let him know. Hey, official new neighbor. Oh, hello, Mr. Scully. I was just about to call you. Thanks for all your hard work today, Mrs. Casagrande. I was wondering if you could show the apartment one more time. Huh? I'm sending some potential tenants over in and out. They're friends of mine. I think they'll be a great fit for the building. <gasps> but what if they don't like it? Here's what I'm thinking. Before they get here, we distract Abuela and make the apartment look like a total disaster. That's great. But there's one tiny hole in your plan. Abuela's obviously going to know what we did when she takes the couple up there. No, she won't. Why? Because she's not going to take them to see the apartment. I am. I can't believe this is going to be my hallway and my door. And this is going to be my living room. And this is going to be my bedroom. I think we nailed it. Yeah, nice brushwork. You're almost making me not want to live here. Oh, thank you. How'd the gluing go? Great. These windows aren't closing anytime soon. Uh. <laughs> yep, I think our work here is almost done. Just one more thing. Whoa, what is that smell? <coughs> My secret weapon. A secret blend of expired cheese, Bobby's work shoes, and to top it off, Lalo's fart pillow. Dang, girl. What's next? We hide these around the apartment. And then? You go back to your hotel. And then? I'll signal you when the mission is complete. Oh, no. Carl, your forehead is warm. Are you getting sick? Sick? Who's sick? Carl's sick? How could you? Pobrecito. Are you ill? Ah, I told you not to touch the subway handrails. But don't worry. I have remedies to cure everything. Yeah, that's what I was afraid of. Miha, you'll have to show the Reynolds the apartment. I'll start warming up the bone broth. Oh, it's the best unit in the building. You're going to love it, Mr. and Mrs. Reynolds. <gasps> so, as you can see, it's really bright and open and airy. Goodness, <laughs> uh, there seems to be a lot of cracks in the walls. But you can hang a few pictures and who's gonna notice? Am I right? Your upstairs neighbor is a professional clog dancer. And that's how you do the CJ circle. Wonderful. You're very talented, CJ. Another cookie? Don't mind if I do. <gasps> oh, what is that smell? Great question. No one really knows. It's a fun mystery the whole building's been trying to solve. My money's on a forgotten crab cake or rockfish. Ever had rockfish? <laughs> ah, the excitement of the city. Don't you love it? Maybe we should close some windows. This one is stuck. <laughs> so is this one. It's almost like it was glued open. I don't understand what the Reynolds are talking about. You'll see how nice the apartment is. New windows, new paint, everything. <gasps> how do you explain this? I, I, I can't. I can. This is all my doing. I made the place look terrible so the Reynolds wouldn't want it. But why would you do that? <sighs> because I wanted the Chings to live here. Sid and I really hit it off, and I thought we could be friends. Maybe even best friends. Mr. Scully, I'm really, really sorry. Please don't fire Abuela. She's a great manager. This is all on me. <laughs> oh, you What? Sid? Hey, neighbor. But 
Wait, I, I don't understand. Ronnie Ann, what you said about having a best friend really touched me. I got to live next door to my BFF when I was a kid. And I know how special that is. 